Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is Car X Drift Racing once again on the channel and I thought I'd go ahead and pretty much continue into getting some more cars in this game because that's pretty much what I'm working for now. So, uh, this is our car for now, this Volvo here. So, a lot of people have actually said that I should check out this S13, but even more people said that one of the best drift cars in this game, or one of the best cars to drift with in this game, is the E30. So, I may actually work towards getting one of these. Um, there's not really a lot of other stuff that I can actually try to get uh, right now, especially with the money that I have. But, a lot of people said the S13 and the E30 are very, very good. So, I think what I'm going to end up doing is, up, obviously, up until we get enough uh, levels to unlock all the rest of these cars, uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm probably going to buy the S13 now, because I can afford it. And I'm going to go ahead and use that to do a bit of sliding and hopefully work towards getting the E30, because I really want to try that out. There's also a lot of other cars that I really want to try, but for now, I think I'm going to go with this. Um, so the setup on this thing is uh, pretty weak. Uh, we need 31,000 to be able to get what we want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to the Volvo. Because the Volvo's tuned. The Volvo has a setup of 461 horsepower, 1,800 kilos. It's pretty heavy, but uh, it does a good job at uh, at sliding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. I'm going to go ahead and hop into something here. I still want to unlock also another track. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is unlocking this as well in today's video. While at the same time trying to work for getting the drift setup for the, uh, for the S13. And then hopefully by the next video, I'll use the S13 to get some more points and maybe get... What What was that drop? It just... The way it just dropped me sideways in the thing. What was going on? Okay. Well, I just realized I also had no audio. I also put the music back on again, hopefully. Come on, Volvo. I haven't played this game in a few days, so... What is with the multiplier? The multiplier is sick. I think what they ended up doing as well, I think they updated the game. I'm pretty sure this game just got an update as well, so... There is a couple of changes. As you can see, I don't have to change direction to be able to... I think once I change direction, it automatically gives me an extra... One sec, I'll check now. So if I do that, no, 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 no. Okay, so it it doesn't matter if I change direction. It won't cancel my multiplier. Making it a little bit easier, though, to be able to go up in the multipliers. I don't know how the, the point system is going to work now. I don't know if it'll go past five. But we'll see now. But yeah, they ended up updating the game. I, I do remember that, them saying that. And also, I think they put a dead zone in the game as well. Uh, they did say that they were going to add that in. I'm on the outside of the track. I don't think this is going to work too well. How am I going to get back inside? <laughs> I've ruined this. Okay, I'm not even going to finish because I went off the track and I had to go backwards. Well, that was just a waste of time. I got nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at this thing now since they've done some stuff. So, in controls, devices. Let's have a look here. Feedback, steering, dead zone. There we go. I can have a little bit of a dead zone, so I'm guess I don't know how much that is to be completely honest, but if I do that, okay, let's add a steering dead zone of 0.1, and let's have a look at what that is like uh, with a 0.1 dead zone. So meaning that the little the little imperfection in my in my left stick should be should be fine. It is! My car is driving straight! That's sick! That is what I asked for. Okay, let's have a look at how much the... How do I change view? I, I still didn't get a thing to change view. So how much do I need to start steering? Okay, not much, actually. Okay, that's sick! That is pretty damn good. The dead zone literally fixed my problems. Not even gonna lie. That is perfect. I honestly feel like I should really restart this because I don't know if I'm going to finish or not. Alright, restart it. Steering dead zone works perfectly fine now. That is great. I'm happy with that. I really am. 
Again, I still have yet to try this game on the wheel, so... Oh my god, I almost lost it. I still have yet to try this game on the wheel. That is one thing that I need to try out very, very soon. But I'm just enjoying playing this game on the controller. It's, it's actually very, very fun. I'm not even gonna lie. On the controller, you just sit back and just sort of chill out and play this game. It's not, like, incredibly competitive or anything. It's, it's just a fun game to play. Again, I'm not being sponsored to say any of this stuff. I, I really am. Like, uh, the only thing I got from this is... I can now... I can email the people that, uh, that are working on this game. And ask them about stuff. Because they gave me a free... Oh, yeah, look at that, the multiplier just going down. Because they gave me a free code for the game. And that's pretty much it. I, again, I don't have to. I wasn't asked. I'm not getting paid to say good things about the game. They literally asked me if I wanted a free code. And that was pretty much it. And like I said, since I get to ask them about stuff, I got to ask them about the uh, the Dead Zone stuff, and they said that they're gonna add it in the next update, and they did. Solid. Okay, I have to keep this in fourth gear a little bit, I guess. Somehow. It's a little bit underpowered. In fourth. Just playing, playing this game with a controller just looks really weird with the wheels at the front, but this is exactly what I remember Gran Turismo being like. Because I definitely didn't have a wheel for the PlayStation 3, so whenever I used to slide... I remember I used to tune my car specifically just for trying to fix the the little wheel like movement, so like... It looks like I'm playing on the wheel, but I'm not. So I literally used to tune my car specifically for that. So I didn't have that little movement on the wheel. Either way, I got myself gold. Little wall tap there. Still going with the points. Still have 30 seconds left. Absolutely smashing it now. That's fine. Use the forklift to transition. Oh my god, I get so many more points now though. I feel like before it was definitely a lot more difficult to get points, because, you know, when you straightened up and everything, everything goes down. Oh my god, I got 37,000 credits for that. That is sick. Alright, so I think with that, I can now go to my S13. I can go to the setup, and I can purchase this. Can I? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I can. 31,500. 452 horsepower, 1,250 kilos, making this a lot lighter than the, uh, than the Volvo. In customization, we can uh, still change pretty much the same sort of stuff, so... Um, what sort of colors can I actually put in this thing? Red always looks good. On the S13, not gonna lie. Red and blue. Green. Oh, this dark green actually looks really good. Damn. 18 grand for that? Holy shit. Alright, so we're, I guess we're, <laughs> we're gonna have to keep it in white. I can't really do much. Um... Wheels, uh, I think wheels are fine. We can actually change it to black. Actually, can I can't even afford to change it to black to be honest. That just looks okay. Well, I can't really do much. I know, I know, I need more money. All right, let's keep it in white. Let's start drifting. Uh, get myself and like pretty much just get another twenty thousand credits. Okay, let's see how this thing drives now. Oh my god. Dude. What? Holy third gear. 100 kilometers an hour in third gear. I am absolutely ripping in this thing. This is much faster than Volvo. Wow, this is good. This thing rips. Holy shit. This is good. This is really, really good. Oh my god. At least on a controller, this is very good. Tons of control over it. Maybe some fourth gear? It's a bit struggling in fourth gear. 
Bring him back from third. This is insane. Look at the points I'm getting with this thing. I'll legit be able to buy a car just by doing this like three times. First of all, it's much faster than the Volvo. Because it's a lot lighter, I'm guessing. That's probably why. It's, it doesn't have that much power over the Volvo. But since it's faster, I can keep these slides going without having to force myself to enter a slide. And I can pretty much link everything up. 10,000 points. I haven't done that yet. This is very good. And I can just keep this going forever. Wow. And with 45 seconds remaining. That is... <laughs> oh my god. I got 33,000 points for that. Alright, I think we need a new track. I think that's what we need to do. So, go in to drift again. And let's unlock the parking garage. That is just mental. This looks sick as well, right here. I think if we get 40,000 XP, I kind of really want to unlock this. Because I think this is just a... Yeah, this is just a reverse of this. But if I go to the parking B garage, this looks a lot wider than, than all these little roads here. So we might be able to do some crazy stuff there. Alright. Let's have a look. See what this thing is like. Okay, this is like more like an event thing. You have like spectators and stuff. For the first time ever, I actually had to use my brakes to slow down a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, this is pretty wide, actually, so... Don't really need to slow down too much. This is kind of a tighter turn here. I don't think I need to get as many points as before. On the previous track, since this one is, I think, a little bit tighter. Before, I think it was like 6,000 points, I had to get to get gold. Oh god, I straightened up. So my points went there. Ah, oh, for the first time ever, I, I lost it, but... I didn't lose it fully. I think the Volvo, I could just lose that thing. Oh no, I hate when that happens. Pretty much, I think, if I don't get enough points in a specific amount of time... It'll reset me back. Uh, one multiplier, pretty much. So if I don't get any points here, for example, it'll go back down to like two. Okay. Whoa, it almost, it almost went down too. I need more speed here. I'm gonna try to keep it as wide as possible. Could have gone wider even, but I tried to keep it wide because then I could just get as many points as possible. Yeah, okay, so 3,600 points. 3,600 points is pretty much the max for this. It's not like 6,000 like the previous one. But I'm still going with the points though. I still haven't hit a 5 multiplier on this one though, so I think what I need to do next is try to do that. Because I've kind of screwed up on a couple of turns here. Alright, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. Alright, let's do this again. Try to get more points. Come on, S13. Come on. You absolute beast. It's like I'm trying to tandem with my with my ghost. I feel like I need to pass it now. Again, I need Oh, I almost lost it there. I feel like I do need to somewhat follow it, but at the same time I need to try to see if I can figure out a better line. 
to keep this sliding for a little bit longer because, I, like I said, I still haven't gotten a 5 multiplier. And I didn't in that previous lap, so if I follow him, it would literally do the exact same thing that he's doing. Well, what I did before. I definitely wouldn't be able to get this 5 multiplier and actually get more points. Okay, I tapped it somehow, but I'm still gone. I feel like the walls are a bit too forgiving. I feel like the way I tapped that wall there, I feel like I should have like spun out or something. Just to make it a little bit less forgiving. No, 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 no. I screwed it up, I screwed it up. Shit. Come on. That is... Look at that angle. Look at that steering angle on the front wheels. That is sick. Alright, well, I definitely got more points than before. And I got that multiplier done as well. Okay. That wasn't terrible. That wasn't that bad. 22,000 credits. How many credits are we on now? 54,000. Very, very close. Like I said, I just do this a couple of times. And I could easily get myself to 100,000 credits. And then get this E30. Which is what I think I'm going to be doing in the next video. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It's kind of sick that they're actually still working on the game. Alright, actually, let me change this here really quick. So, dynamic camera and cockpit. I could change the... I need to change the controls. I want to add... Uh, where's the change view option? Uh, I guess I can't do it on this, so... Buttons on the... Next camera, C. Okay, how about we do one, one run? Can't even speak. Let's do one run with first person. Uh, I'll do it. Let's try it. Actually, I'll keep doing it on the... Actually, no, let's do it on this. On the... Uh, on the Navarro base. I feel like that'd be interesting. Alright, so C changes my view. The lap hasn't started yet, so C. Oh god, I'm about to crash. Press it one more time. There we go. Alright, now let's just restart this. Alright, first burst of action. This is sick. Wait, does it have like full rotation on the wheel? Oh, it does and everything. That is well cool. This is really weird in first person because I have to keep twitching my I have to keep twitching my my wheel. It's, it's so weird in first person. Oh god. It just feels weird in first I can't do this. That is sick though. It has full rotation in the wheel as well. I tried to control it like, like I would a, an actual steering wheel. It's so difficult on the stick. To not make it like twitch too much. There we go, there we go. Still a bit twitchy, but... Hey. Oh my god. I'm actually pretty impressed with the cockpit view in this thing. It's not bad. I was just about to say, how did I not spin out yet? I kind of lost there for a little bit. But the game doesn't think so, so let's just keep this going. Also, it looks like, because I'm not... <sighs> oh god. Because I'm not twitching a lot, I feel like I'm gaining speed a little bit faster. Also, I think because I don't have as much angle as I did. That was close. I just looked at my mirrors. <laughs> I just looked at my mirrors and I almost scraped my whole rear end of the containers. Okay, I didn't even get 6,000 points. 
I like that though. You can even see the, the, the dude like moving the pedals and everything or pressing down the pedals. That was sick. Okay. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Also, the S13 is pretty decent too. Actually, what we can do here is actually I can go and customize it a little bit. So I like the screen. I'm gonna add that green onto it. For the wheels, uh, I think I'm gonna keep the red, like the just the outer rim in white, and then I'm just gonna paint them black. And I think they look pretty decent, and the car looks pretty good now. So also we unlocked window tints. Uh, can have a little bit of a black tint here, and then smoke. I'm gonna have to unlock at level 11. All right, that is pretty much it. The S13 hatch is doing some work. 240, 180, 200 SX, whatever you guys want to call it. This thing is pretty sick. It's actually doing really, really well. So, if you guys have any ideas of other cars that I can try and use in future videos, let me know. I will, again, I will go ahead, once I unlock a bunch of cars and stuff like that, I will definitely go ahead and play this game with the wheel. Then I'll record it and do all that sort of stuff. But for now, I'm just trying to progress so I can unlock a bunch of these cars and then see what it's like. To, to play with all of these and also there's so many cars that I still have yet to unlock uh, Not even just to unlock but even just purchase because I'm gonna go back and pretty much just purchase every single car in this game uh, And I'm gonna try everything But uh, for now that is pretty much it Look at this thing mental Mental little cars all right, I think the GTR will be fun to, to try and slide it. it'll be all-wheel drive though But I don't know how that's gonna work s15 is looking sick. What is that? I don't even know what kit is on that thing. That looks good. This as well. It's like a weird... It, it, it looks like a Rocket Bunny kit. Like a... V I'm gonna probably ruin this. It's probably, it looks like a little bit like a V2 kit, I think. And also stock at the same time. I don't know. It looks pretty good. Super. I've You guys have seen all these guys before. But yeah, anyway, that is gonna be it. Again, thank you very much for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.